All right, folks. Halloween 2022 Pumpkin Bash. Well, it's still Mirny 13, but this mode is utterly broken. <laughs> also, stupidly fun. There's so many wacky combos you could do with the special perks, like turning your light tanks into a predator missile, practically. So boosting with the rocket boost, shield up, and no ramming damage, making yourself practically immune to deal the ramming damage, and then you die. <laughs> also, there is the status effect build, which is the fire shot, the decay shot, and you run away. So annoying as all hell, but... <laughs> but the best build there is, currently for me, is the Jumbo Carnarvon build. And that is basically giving the Carnarvon more DPM, more health, and the hyper repairs. So it has 2000 health baseline. It could repair itself, giving itself back the health, like 400 health per repair. And it has about 3700 DPM. <laughs> you have the turret armor to haul down on a base and just practically prevent everybody from coming near you. <laughs> if you get damage, you can repair it every 40 seconds. And you spam all the gold shell in the world. <laughs> it is just not fair. You can constantly detract and basically make somebody life practically miserable. <laughs> like this Centurion. Yeah, I got your road wheel. You're stuck. There's another Carnarvon, but there is something different about the uh, 15 versus 15 meta compared to the 7 versus 7 meta, or 10 versus 10 if you don't have enough players. And that is, heavy tanks are more favorable in the 15 versus 15 because there's so many of them. Whereas for lower tiers, when nobody's playing them, you usually get 7 versus 7. And that's where light tanks are a little bit better. So I was wrong about the meta choice of all the light tanks being good because of all the gold shell spam, but if you have a good turret like the Carnarvon, then you don't care about the gold shell, practically. So the perks are just really interesting. The infinite respawn as well as the gold shell makes some wacky combo available. So you can also do something like the charioteer, spamming all the hash rounds in the world, <laughs> which is also dumb. You can try the Caliban, putting shield up as well as rocket boosters, and then basically driving up to somebody's rear and dumping two gold shell into their engine deck. And you just die, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> God, so stupid. But you shouldn't play artillery because it's not as fun playing artillery in all the matches I see. So there are somebody who's playing artillery, but not that much. So I saw a Tog with the health buff, with the hyper repair, and the DPM buff, it hold out by itself on a base in a tier 6 match. <laughs> Just how insane how much health you could get with the British heavy tanks. So I recommend you guys trying the Carnarvon. Uh, the Black Prince is a good choice at tier 7 because the thick turret front of 250 for a tier 7, which is pretty good. It's flat, but and the gold shell is also pretty decent. I think it's the 17 pounder gold shell, but still, it's good enough. And it has a lot of health, mostly, for a heavy tank, so it's just a little bit slow. You could go the full tryhard mode and replace the normal consumables with large repair kits, large medical kits, and food. Or maybe gas <laughs> to make it go faster, but. Once you get the actual super perks, like the one that actually spawn, you're practically unkillable in the Carnarvon. So you'll see that with the second match, but for this match, I am basically somewhat protecting this base all by myself. I mean, there are teammates who are coming in, but I'm the only one surviving all this time <laughs> with so much health. And the hyper repair is just insane. The DPM, the hyper repairs, I'm practically unkillable. And I have all the DPM in the world to protect myself. So I think, yes, there are a few vehicles that might be fun, 
but if you really want to try hard, you want something with a lot of DPM, with a lot of health, or a combination of both. So Carnarvon is a good choice. I thought about maybe the Jumbo Pershing, the, the T26 E5, maybe that's a good choice as well, but it's not really that fast, so you might have a few difficult time with fast vehicles, but if they cannot kill you soon enough, you just repair the, all the stuff you just lost. Like repair all the ram ammo racks in the world, repair all the health you lost. Insane. <laughs> Ooh, there's uh, glowing eyes in the bushes. That's neat. <laughs> but yeah, Carnarvon. I think it's my best choice for now with the first perk. Uh, you want to choose rapid firing guns for the fire shot or the uh, decay shot. You have the shield for fast vehicles. And you have the rocket booster for everybody. So like a Chrysler K, there am somebody. That might be fun, but... God, the Carnarvon is so busted with all the gold shell in the world. <laughs> also, stuff like the Skoda T56, all the gold shell in the world, not that much different, but now it's free. So, uh, but you'll see what happens when you pick up a perk, a damage perk in the Carnarvon. You'll deal 800 alpha per shot every four seconds. That is nuts. You'll see, that, you'll see that in the second match, but uh, it is utterly broken of a mode. It is fun, but the downside to it is there's no incentive to play after you finish the crew member stuff. So every three days you get the missions, but after you finish like eight matches when you're top seven, there's no reason to play anymore, so that's kind of unfortunate, but the rewards are still somewhat nice. And the female crews are not half bad, but they mentioned that you have to put them all into one vehicle in order to make them work with the voice line. So I think it's like the girls on Panzer Crew where sometimes the German medium tanks don't have a radio operator position. You don't need it. It still works just because you have four other positions that's filled out with the girls on Panzer Crew. So I wouldn't worry too much about it, but it's still free crew. And it's mostly about having fun, but yeah, the gold shell, free gold shell is insane. You spam a lot of gold shell in this mode. <laughs> and if you expose your drive wheel, if you expose your lower plate, you're getting done. In the Carnarvon, you're done practically, so. <laughs> I hold out all this flank against a bunch of, <laughs> a bunch of Carnarvons, Bulldogs. Centurions, you name it. It's just insane. You look at the map. <laughs> Most of my team is on the other flank. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Bulldogs, Carnarvons, Astron. Oh, thank you, KB4, KTTS, for protecting me, but my DPM is not that high. I mean, it's high, but it's not that high. Also, how crazy it is that the Carnarvon has... 3,000 DPM with a rammer and vids. Not to include the Halloween special rammer or the monkey with the minigun. That's 20% more DPM as well. So in total, you get up to about 3,700 DPM with the Carnarvon spamming all the gold shell. Nuts! Insane! But I haven't tried the Charioteer with all the Hesh rounds, so that might be fun. <laughs> but I still think frontline vehicles with decent turret armor and decent health might be a little bit more worthwhile in the 15 versus 15 match. If it's 7 versus 7, then maybe light tanks. But I had a lot of fun with my Type 64, machine gunning people to death, but... Once your stuff runs out, once your repair kits or your hyper repair runs out, you get killed. But that doesn't matter. I hold out like all 10 minutes of this time. But just insane how good this thing is. <laughs> just insane. And the match is practically over. Practically. I mean, we already won the other flank without contest. And now I already hold out all this time against all these vehicles. <laughs> Which is nuts. Alright, moving on to the special one with the special perk. 
and uh, you'll see how broken it is. So you want to play high health vehicles, high DPM vehicles. I'm thinking a uh, fast vehicle would be best, but you want somewhat of an impenetrable turret at its tier, at tier 8 or tier 6. So maybe Carnarvon is the best choice? Maybe the Jumbo Pershing? Well, we'll see what happens with the next match. Alright, we're on the Czech factory map. So this map is still decent for heavy tanks, but the Carnarvon, super good. Mostly because of the cover, but you'll see what happens when we get the perk, but uh, I think A is a little bit better than B for heavy tanks, mostly because the light tanks will just circle you and you get flanked, but it's like any other PvP, 15 versus 15, but it's Halloween. <laughs> the only downside to this mode is the rewards are only the crew members. Uh, there's no incentive to play after you finish, no battle pass points, no actual XP or credits, but then again, with all the gold shell spam I do, I'm doing, <laughs> I would lose so much credit. Go Caliban, go derp somebody. <laughs> all right, object 252U. I don't care, I have gold shell spam. It's, it's okay. <laughs> Ooh, VK7501K. Oh. I, I don't think super heavy tanks are worthwhile. I think heavy tanks like the Carnarvon or the Jumbo Pershing or the Chrysler K are more effective than the German super heavies like the Mammut or the Mauer Breaker. But eh, Russian heavy tanks are gimmicky too. Uh, I wouldn't trust the IS-3. I trust the uh, 252U a little bit more, I guess. But eh. It's slow to start, but once it gets going, it really gets going. Pull back into cover. The turret front is very thick. I think it's a little bit modified of a Centurion turret. Yeah, it has a different mantlet and gun support for the 32 pounder on the Carnarvon, but maybe the turret ring is also a little bit bigger to support the gun. The 32 pounder is a 94 millimeter. And we're pushing up to base. Detrack. Light tanks going after the Caliban. Oops, I missed that shot. Oop. Detracted. But I have so much more DPM. It's 3000 DPM. Base without the Halloween stuff. So, this bat chat picked up the DPM buff. So, one doubt, not the DPM, the damage buff. Basically, improving your DPM, but he's going to deal 100% more damage with his shells with the 105, which is kind of insane. So, first shell hit the track. <laughs> Second shell dealt almost 1000 damage, but I stole the perk. Now it's go time <laughs> with the Carnarvon. And they're going to base rush with me right here. Oh, oh, it's a slaughter. Here comes the DPM machine. <laughs> oh my god, 900 alpha. And he burns. And he <laughs> takes another one. Oh, you want to try this, bro? <laughs> no, he don't. Something's wrong. <laughs> He's dead. Oh, E75. I'm sorry. <laughs> It also buffed my health. My health is currently at 3,500. <laughs> God. I have about 7,000 DPM. I have about 3,500 health. You're not killing me. <laughs> oh, you little VK7501K. How small you feel. I'm not scared of you. <laughs> also, I have the hyper repair. So even if you damage me, I repair. 20% of my health. That is nuts. That is insane. Okay, bye, Badger. God, seven hundred alpha. It's like ISU's 152. Oh my God. It's not fair. One thousand alpha. Almost. 
Yeah, you're not killing this Carnarvon. You're, you're not. I have all. Oh, you, your tracks hit it. Fine. You got lucky. But this thing is utterly insane. Yeah, you can do your 400 alpha gun. Sure. Whatever. That doesn't matter. 1,000 alpha of the jet. You're not killing this Carnarvon. You're not. Ooh. Oh, side on. Yay. And hyper repair. There you go. <laughs> hyper repair repairs about 1,000 health. <laughs> oh no. You're. You know. <laughs> Busted. Oh, uh, it's so. And I'm spawn camping. <laughs> God damn it. It, yeah, it's not broken whatsoever. Oh, he has a shield on. Oh, I took... Eh, I took out his gun? I didn't <laughs> damage his gun, but Jesus. Every four seconds, I reload. Nuts! <laughs> Hyper repair again! Uh, oh, 700 health repair. Not 1,000. Never mind. Still, you're not killing this thing. Oh my god. Well, there you go, folks. Enjoy this mode if you can, and uh, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a meme. <laughs> oh, so much damage! Jesus Christ! Take a look at that. Oh my! God. Hold out, uh, hold out with my own vehicle against like five other tanks or seven other tanks in in the first match, and for the second match. <laughs> So much damage when my team doesn't even finish 6,000 damage tops. I dealt three times more damage just because of the perk. It's so nuts. Well, there you go, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed this mode. Have fun. Try to experiment. There's no cost for the shells, for the repair. So try to have fun. But happy Halloween. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.